What is up, beautiful people? Have you ever opened ChatGPT and typed something like, analyze this deal or write me an email to sellers, hit enter, and then stared at this long generic wall of absolute bullshit and thought, yeah, this is useless. That's not because ChatGPT is bad, it's because you're bad and you have no idea how to use it. And because you're not using these four letters, R, C, C, F. Role, context, constraints, format. If you don't give ChatGPT those four things, it guesses. That's how you end up with answers that let sound like a corporate blog post instead of a real estate mentor who actually gets your situation. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to talk to ChatGPT using RCCF so it behaves like Pace Morby, like Alex Hormozy, your deal analyst, your systems consultant, your hiring manager, your email copywriter, instead of some random robot. Here's how it always starts. It's gonna be telling it its role, telling it its context, telling it all your constraints, and then telling it the format. And at the end, I'm gonna give you three full plug and play prompts that you can copy for real scenarios in your business. So let's break it down. Step one, roll, be my. Most people talk to ChatGPT just like the AI. They type, analyze this deal, write me an email, help me grow my business. Then they get a vague generic answer that sounds smart, but doesn't actually help them make a decision. From now on, you don't start with, can you? You start with, be my. This is the R in RCCF role. Think of ChatGPT like a new hire in your business. You wouldn't bring someone in and say, just do stuff. You'd say, you're my acquisitions manager, you're my operations person, you're my marketing assistant. Same thing here. Instead of analyze this deal, you say, be my senior real estate acquisitions analyst using no BS, direct funny tone. Your job is to help me decide if this deal is actually worth my time. In that one sentence, you've said who it is, senior real estate acquisitions analyst, how to talk, no BS, direct, funny, what his job is, help me decide if this is deal is worth my time. The simple pattern is be my role, use a tone, your job is X. You only change that one thing, your chat GBT answers will already improve. Step two, context, here's my world. Once ChatGPT has a role, it still doesn't know anything about you unless you tell it. That's where the context comes in. Context is where you say, here's who I am, here's my market, here's my strategy, here's what I'm working with. Let me show you what that looks like for a brand new investor analyzing a small multifamily bird deal. I might say, ChatGPT, be my senior real estate acquisitions analyst, use a no BS direct funny tone, your job is to help me decide if this deal is actually worth my time. The rural part. Then, right afterwards, context, I'm a brand new investor in Minneapolis. I'm looking at a mix of small multifamily flips, burr, and an occasional wholesale deal. My main goal is long-term cash flow with decent upside, not crazy home run flips. I still work a full-time job, so I can't be at the property every day babysitting contractors. Then I'd paste in the deal numbers, purchase price, ARV, rehab, yada, yada. And then that gives you the first two, role and context. Step three, constraints. Here are the, your, the rules of the world. Constraints are the rules. This is where you tell ChatGPT what you won't do, what you can't do, and what you don't want to do. Time limits, money limits, risk tolerance, preferences. This is how you stop it from recommending stuff that doesn't fit your reality. So back to that exact same burr or small multifamily deal. So after role and context, I'd also add, I'm brand new, so I don't want anything that needs a massive gut rehab or has big structural issues. My total cash available is $500,000. I'm okay with cosmetic work and modern value you add, but I don't want a nightmare project. I want you to be conservative, not optimistic. If something looks risky for a beginner, say it. When you spell out the constraints, you're basically telling ChatGPT, stay in this box. Don't drag me into strategies that don't fit my reality. Roll context and constraints together makes it feel like a legit assistant that knows you. Now, let's hit the final letter. Format. Format is simply how you want the answer delivered on your screen. You've already told ChatGPT who its role is, what your world looks like, what the rules are. Format 
is you saying, cool, now package the answer like this so I can actually use it. Here's one simple format option for deal analysis. Start with a clear one sentence verdict like, this deal looks solid or marginal or not worth it and here's why. Then give me a bullet point breakdown of the numbers, the main risks and the top three questions I should ask the agent or seller before moving forward. You can swap that out for a script, a checklist, a table, whatever you need, but the idea is the same. You here want to choose, how do I actually want the information given to me, right? So taking all of that together, let's go through the template. Be my expert role and use an X tone. Your job is to do X. Context, who are you? Your market, your strategy, your situation, and the details, constraints. If it's about a deal, it's like your budget, your time, your risk tolerance, right? If it's about something else, it could be, I don't wanna do YouTube videos unless I can do it off a teleprompter. Give it those constraints. Format, how do you want the answer delivered? Do you want it delivered as a script? Do you want it delivered as a bullet point? That's RCCF in one clean block. Now, I'm gonna go through three full RCCF examples that you can steal and I've been using in my business really recently. So you can like copy and paste it and see how it's done with different situations. So I'm gonna go with the first one, which is what we created throughout the most of this video, all over again, put into one thing. Be my senior real estate acquisitions analyst. Use a no BS, direct, slightly funny tone. Your job is to help me decide if this bird deal is actually worth my time and money. I'm, context, I'm a brand new investor in Minneapolis. I'm focused on small multifamily bird deals in working middle-class neighborhoods. My main goal is a long-term cash flow with some equity upside, not huge risky flips. I work a full-time W-2, so I can't be at the property every day. Here are all of the de deal details, and then you post everything about the deal. Then your constraints. I don't want anything that needs a massive gut rehab or has structural issues. My total cash available is $500,000. I'm okay with cosmetic and light to moderate value add, but I don't want a nightmare project that drags on forever. Be conservative, not optimistic, and if that looks risky for a beginner, just say it so I can pass. And then lastly, your format. Start with a clear one sentence verdict like this deal looks solid, marginal, not worth it, and here's why. And give me a bullet point breakdown of the numbers, the main risks, and the top three questions I should ask the agent or seller before moving on. Type all of that into ChatGPT, and I promise you, you'll get the best answer possible for that question. Here's another example that I helped out a client of mine with. Hiring your first VA. I helped a client out by teaching him how to do this exact method and this is what we came up with, right? Be my hiring consultant and use a straightforward, practical tone. Your job is to help me hire my first VA the right way for my real estate investing business. That was the role. Context, I'm a newer investor doing cold outreach, texting, comping deals and admin tasks by myself. I'm starting to get overwhelmed and I want to hire a VA to take over repetitive tasks, like data entry, basic lead follow-up, organizing my CRM and pulling lists so I can focus on talking to real sellers and making offers. I mainly generate leads through cold calling, texting and online forums. Then your constraints. I wanna start my VA at 10 to 20 hours a week with a clear scope of work. I need specific measurable tasks, not vague, help me with everything. I don't want super complex hiring process. I just want a solid job description, one to two simple test tasks and a short interview structure. Assume I'm on a budget and I'm okay with hiring overseas. Lastly, format. First, give me a short summary of this type of VI I should hire. Then give me a job description I could post. Then two to three tasks that I can send the candidates to make sure they know how to do it. And in five to seven interview questions, I can ask to fill tower out the bad fits. If you put all that in ChatGPT, you're gonna get an incredibly specific way of hiring somebody. The last example I'm gonna give you is writing follow-up emails to sellers. ChatGPT, be my email marketing copywriter for my real estate business and use a friendly, conversational, trustworthy tone. Your job is to help me stay top of mind with motivated sellers without sounding spammy or pushy. I collect emails from sellers who reach out for my direct mail, website, and online ads. Some of them aren't ready to sell yet, but they're open to staying in touch. I buy properties in a small, local investor, not a big company. I want to send simple emails that feel human, remind them what I do, and make it easy for them to reach out when they're ready. Keep each email under 250 words, no hype or scammy language, no fake deadlines, no pressure tactics. Right at about a sixth to eighth grade reading level, every email should end with one clear call to action, like hit reply or click here to schedule a quick call. Give me three email templates, a nice to meet you, slash thanks for reaching out email, 
a just checking in follow-up email, and a market update reminder I can help email. For each email, include a subject line and the full body text. Those are three full RCCF prompts. You can swap out the details and reuse the structure for almost anything in your business. So again, if you haven't been getting good answers from ChatGPT, it's not because you don't get the AI or you're not technical. It's because you're skipping RCCF. Just remember, give it a roll, be my, have this tone, and this is your goal. Give it context, here's my world. Give it constraints, here are my rules and limits, and then give it a format, here is how I want the answer. Do that and ChatGPT stop feeling like a toy and starts feeling like a real assistant for your real estate business. If this helped you see exactly how to actually prompt ChatGPT so you get what you want, do me a favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment that starts with be my, and tell me the role you're going to give ChatGPT first. Be my deal analysis, be my systems consultant, be my email copywriter, put it in the comments, then go plug one of these RCCF prompts into a real deal or real process you're working on today and see the difference for yourself. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.